The Mountaineering Development Series course is five days, and of those five days, four of them are spent in the field uh, for the most part. Uh, day one is uh, some classroom instruction where we're talking about equipment selection, uh, what makes the most sense for different types of mountaineering objectives. Uh, you know, there's a lot of equipment out there by many different manufacturers and kind of wading through what the proper gear to select is a task sometimes that can be overwhelming. So we really break that down for people. Uh, after we talk about equipment selection, uh, we're gonna review all of the hazards that would go on in the mountains. Uh, not only do we highlight risk awareness, but we also talk about how to manage that risk to an acceptable level um, to each individual. Uh, after we have that kind of morning session in the classroom, uh, we will move outside where we'll talk about some basic mountaineering skills like crampon technique, uh, ice axe technique, both self-arrest and self-belay techniques with your ice axe. Uh, and then that kind of wraps up our day with uh, self-arrest practice on day one. Day two is typically a climb of some sort that would uh, put into practice some of the skills that we learned on day one. Um, so that would typically be a longer uh, climb where you're gonna be guided uh, up an objective in Rocky Mountain National Park or somewhere else that we're climbing that day. Uh, and it's really focused on reinforcing the lessons from day one uh, and trying to climb uh, an objective somewhere in Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> day three is typically all about ice climbing. Um, so we'll talk about you know what it takes to go climb frozen waterfalls and uh, the equipment that would be specific to that activity. So uh, it's likely that we'll make a change in what type of equipment we're using on our feet as well as what type of ice axes we're going to be wielding that day. Um, after we've gone through the basics, we'll move out into the field to uh, a climbing venue where there's frozen waterfalls and apply the trade of climbing and learning all those skills. Day four is all about mountain navigation. Uh, it's a really uh, deep dive into uh, map and compass skills as well as more modern techniques where we're using GPS devices to navigate through the mountains. Uh, it's a really good overview of how to tour plan uh, to include developing time plans so that you'll know how long certain mountaineering objectives will take to complete. Yeah, I mean day five really capitalizes on the course. And it should really be a uh, crowning achievement of all the skills that we've learned where we can put all that into practice and uh, really it just get some learning just by climbing a big mountain route. Uh, and whether that's you know just some self-care or really applying the skills, the climbing skills that we've learned throughout the course, um, that's really what day five is all about. Uh, maximizing that experience and making a lasting memory for people that have taken this course.